we're going to go up to the cog up top and look at the account settings so we just set up the, the file let's go into our account settings here last time we looked at the company information now we'll look at the billing the usage the sales so in the billings tab this is where we have the information that we used in order to set up the file so this is what we're basically paying for at this point in time we got the quickbooks plus now obviously we're on the free trial version so this would be after the free trial remember the price is inflated because we use the free trial so if you were actually to purchase the software it would typically not be uh, this much money because you're going to look for a discount or something at that point in time but that's that we we have the upgrade so if we needed to upgrade the plan here downgrade the plan now remember that quickbooks has different tiers of quickbooks online quickbooks online is different than quickbooks desktop but once you're in QuickBooks Online, there's different levels of QuickBooks Online, which you could basically think of them as adding features as you go up to a higher level within the online software. So therefore, it's easier to go up a grade if you need more features. It might be more difficult to downgrade because you might be used to using some of the higher grade features. So just kind of keep that in mind. You want to use the, the grade that's going to be covering what you need ratchet up as you need to, to do so but be careful when you ratchet up that it's difficult to ratchet back down because then you're going to be used to whatever you've been using then we set up the payroll which also has different tiers that you can use remember that payroll is one of those things that you got to think do i want to to do payroll within quickbooks or to hire someone outside to help me with the payroll i would really recommend getting advice on that but we turned on the payroll for the 30 day free trial so we can show some payroll transactions here. Obviously, again, you can upgrade, you can downgrade, you can cancel the payroll. Be careful on thinking that you're just going to test out payroll and then switch or something like that. That's not really what you don't want to tinker with payroll, really. Some things you can tinker with. If you're trying to fix something, you can try to mess around with it until you fix it. But payroll's not usually one of those things. The, the, the adage would be, measure twice cut once in my opinion right it's not like you want to cut if you're building something you don't want to cut the piece of wood too short you know and then try to fix it by gluing it back together or something it becomes a mess so then you got the quickbooks uh, live full service bookkeeping so these are other features that that uh, you could possibly look into so get live support so they're going to give you more more support on the bookkeeping if you go into that quickbooks online payments accept payments online so this is an, an option to make it easier to, to accept the payments, but it's kind of an add-on type of feature. We might dive into that in a future presentation in and of itself. Uh, checks and supplies, get the products you need to help your business easily, uh, easily and effectively. So they're basically selling you checks and supplies here in this one. So it's kind of almost a sales thing, but you can look into those. There might be some helpful information.